We continue to follow breaking news over Pastor Marvin Winans being carjacked and robbed. 7 Action News reporter Tom Wade joins us live. And Tom, we watched you talk to Pastor Winans just right after this happened. He seemed pretty disappointed by it. Disappointed indeed, Stephen and Diana, but he says, you know, it doesn't matter who you are in this city, anyone can be a victim, but he says he's not going to be afraid in his own neighborhood and in his own city. Take a live look. There are a small army of police officers and detectives here at this gas station at Lidwood and the Davison in Detroit. They are trying to piece this all together. As we have been here for the past hour, we have some other video to show you. Basically, Pastor Winans came here to this gas station on his way somewhere else. He got out of his car, went inside to pay. When he came back out, he says two guys started to beat and rob him. Pumping the gas, aware, looking. One guy wouldn't walk completely around the gas tank. And I knew he was there. And, and I said, this, this really ain't going to happen. This is not going to go down, you know. And uh, it went down. The guy just stepped up. Hit me, I backed up, then the other one came from around, and, they, and you know, I just started calling on the name of the Lord. Did they knock you to the ground? I mean, they oh, tore yeah. up your pants. Oh, yeah. They knocked me to the ground, scarred up my knees, uh, and they were trying to get it, and then they went to kicking me. Tore your pants off? Or? Tore, well, they, you know, they, they can't be worn again. They trying to get the money out of my pocket and just, you know, tore the, the pants up. And I said, I'm not going to be afraid of, of us. I'm not going to be afraid of our sons and our, and... Um, Do you think they knew who you were? I don't think they did. I really don't think they did. Um, and if they did, it, it didn't make much difference. And back out here live, as I mentioned, of course, they stole his Infinity SUV, dark purple in color. It's a four-door SUV. The license plate at this point, we believe, is 0DRT73. And I'll read that again in just a few minutes. Also, they stole his Rolex. They stole his cell phone. And I don't know if you could tell in that video, but his face was cut. He had some other bumps and bruises. He's going to get checked out. But obviously, the uh, worst of it is over. He's going to be okay. Of course, Pastor Marvin Wine is such an incredible legacy in this city. Most recently, of course, he spoke at Whitney Houston's funeral and got national attention for that. But of course, everyone knows this man. He has a legendary past, a legendary family. And as you heard him say, this is not something that he's going to let deter him from, you know, coming through his city, coming through his neighborhoods. He knows this community. He knows the people who live here. And he says this is not something that will stop him in the future. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Tom Waits, 7 Action News. All right, Tom, thank you. Hey, Tom, by the way, is there any surveillance video of this attack? Do, do we see it in action? Yeah, we think they have surveillance video right now at the gas station. I think there are cameras mounted on the in uh, inside and also on the outside. Right now, they have not released any of that. It's not clear what if they're looking at it right now, trying to go over to make sure that they they know what they have. I do know those two guys are out there somewhere. They are looking for two men who, who did this. Um, of course, if that surveillance video is released, we'll, we'll bring it to you immediately. Uh, and Pastor Winans thinks there may have been two people, in, more than two people involved, because there was like 10 people inside that convenience store that may have been lookouts. Back to you. All right, Tom, whatever the case, this just has to stop. We, we do appreciate the live report, and we hope we catch these guys soon.